Sure. So the Sync Center is a full-service music supervision and licensing agency. We uh, we work with first-time filmmakers all the way up to Super Bowl ads and theatrical releases. We we help people manage the their music for their projects. Um, so that's kind of what the Sync Center is, and I guess. Um, how, what was the second part of that, Lexi? Oh, just um, how you got started there. Yeah. So your your personal start. Yeah. So so personally for me, it's kind of a, a funny story. We we started as really just a production company, mm. and and what that means for maybe some of us that don't know, we would make records every three months. We would make record a record for a different artist or a band, and we would. Mm -hmm. We would write the record, we would record the record, and mix the record. And this was back in the 90s. Um, and, you know, we really kind of kept a high bar on songs. So if we were, if we were going cut, to gonna cut 10 songs, we would write 80 songs and really mm -hmm. cut those best. The good one. The good yeah, one. Yeah, we, sure. we loved keeping bad songs off good <laughs> records, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. And so we had a great time. We did that for uh, almost 11 years, and we uh, took artists to Warner Brothers and signed them there. We won some awards. We won an oh, American wow. Music Award, uh, nominated for Song of the Year and Video of the Year Awards. And wow. that grew into a joint venture with Garth Brooks' company. Um, and um, so that's kind of how we started. And as, as far mm -hmm. as Sync, we started in Sync. Um, originally, our first toe in the water was with uh, a show called Dawson's Creek. If I don't, know, it, oh wow, um, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, and this was back in the MySpace days. Uh, yep, uh, I uh, remember those days. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I want to like go back to MySpace and see who's there. If anybody's if Tom, <laughs> they still... they revamped. They bought it back. Did they really? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's called like something else now, but is it it's, really? It's, it's, it's kicking. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, well, so we, <clears throat> I mean, starting with Dawson's Creek, a, a a friend of ours now was the music supervisor for Dawson's Creek, and um, uh, that was our first real toe in the water for sync, and we were like, wow, that's kind of cool. You mean like this song on a hard drive that was sitting there collecting dust? <laughs> you mean we get to make yeah, it money it off it again? And I was like, mm -hmm. wow, that's that's really cool. Um, yeah, for sure. So that was like, oh, wow, that was kind of the light bulb that went off for us. And John McCullough, it was the supervisor, and he's, uh, you know, I, I really, you know, he was a mentor of mine, and it was really about building that relationship with John. Um, mm -hmm. he, did, he did the supervision for... Dawson's Creek, Party of Five, The Wonder Years, Tracy Morgan mm -hmm. Show, um, mm -hmm. uh, The Seventy Show. He's he's like cool. one of the OGs for yeah. in music supervision, and he's he's a mm -hmm. good friend. And uh, but it was really more about building the relationship with him and kind of learning from him than just yeah. the quick money, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, for know? sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, that was that was kind of our first. Um, our first license there, and then kind of how it started. Um, a friend of mine who, who runs general licensing at BMI here in Nashville, um, we'd meet for lunch every you know a couple times a year, meet for Thai food and catch up. And and he would he would um, ask us, hey, we have all these filmmakers calling, you know, can we send them your way? And mm -hmm. I was like, well, sure. I don't know how we can help him because then we were just producing music but so that happened for like 18 months almost two years where where bmi would send us people and as we'd have time we'd talk to them and they were these are like okay i'm a filmmaker and i i i need help with my film like i don't know how the music 
works. I, I need help replacing it or mm -hmm. licensing the music. You know, they were like hitting their head on yeah, the table. Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah. It can be really complicated if you don't know what you're doing. You don't have anyone yeah. to guide you through that process for sure. 100%. And these are people that were trying to do the right thing. Like they, mm -hmm. they were trying to pay for music, trying to handle it legally. And they were just, you know, frustrated, pulling their hair out, trying to trying to figure out the process. So mm -hmm. after about two years of that, we were like, well, heck, you know, maybe, you know, I think we can help. I think we can help them do this. So that was kind of our first, that was what, yeah. uh, uh, 11 years ago. Um, oh, wow. That's when awesome. the Sync Center officially started. So, you know, helping them with budgets, music replacement, sync licensing, mm -hmm. creating new music, you know, all those different pieces go into it. Um, mm -hmm. So, so yeah, we really kind of started helping people fix a pain point. Like mm, if yeah. you're, if you're Microsoft, you have to use your music legally. You can't not use yeah. it because yeah. <laughs> that would be yeah. bad for Microsoft. There will be. Bad <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that's kind of how, that's kind of how we started originally. And, and, you know, we're having a great time. We've, yeah. you know, now we're able to, you know, help filmmakers, ad executives, you know, manage, um, all up and down the food chain. So even even if you're like a first time filmmaker, we work with first time filmmakers on up to, you know, Showtime and HBO and Super Bowl mm -hmm. ads. Yeah, yeah, you have like a, a really wide range of people that you're willing to help out, and that that's really great. Like, I think that having that wide range of people that you're willing to help and that you're there to help for, like mm -hmm. that is it's a really special thing, especially in times like these where people you know, they need the help and the internet is great. Like I mentioned um, in the last episode, the internet's great, but it's a vast place. And so yeah. knowing yeah. that you're getting that good information is definitely um, a really great resource. Um, yeah.